Welcome back to the JW Sports Talk Show. In today's episode, we're going to talk about Mark Lewinsky and why Mark Lewinsky is one of the more underrated guards in the entire NFL. Um, you know, Mark Lewinsky drafted in the fourth round by the Seattle Seahawks in quite a few years back and didn't really make the cut for Seattle. But, you know, he gets caught and the Colts claim him off waivers and he never looks back and he becomes one of the best guards in the NFL. Not one of the best guards in the NFL, but, you know, a really good guard, a really good guard nonetheless, um, an amazing run blocker. He's a mauler in the run blocker. He will run anyone over. He's really good at pulling, and he's also an amazing pass blocker. Um, very underappreciated by Colts fans in, in the entirety of the NFL. Um, you know, and, and if you want to talk about underrated, if you have to guess, put down the comment section before I say it, how many sacks do you think that Mark Lewinsky gave up in the past three years with the Colts? He allowed a total of five sacks in the last three years. In the last three years. Now tell me another guard that you know of that that no one else talks about, but he's only allowed five sacks in three years in the NFL. Um, really underrated guy. Like I said, really underrated. Um, not talked about enough. Um, you know, he's a mauler in the run game. He's fearless. He's not scared of anyone. He he will go over and he, and he will play anyone just like Big Q. He has the same mentality of Big Q. And like I said, he's an amazing pass blocker as well. Um, not as strong in pass blocking, but at the same time, he's still an amazing pass blocker. Like, like I said, five sacks allowed. Five sacks allowed in the past three years. And Quentin Nelson has allowed three. So let's put that into perspective. Quentin Nelson has allowed three sacks over the last three years. And Glowinski allowed five. Now, I'm not saying Glowinski is as good as Nelson. But he's definitely one of the most underrated guards. The most underrated, pre, the most underappreciated players from the Indianapolis Colts. Whether it's, he's underappreciated by Colts fans. By anyone else. He's underappreciated. And... Like I said, he's an awesome dude. He does it. He 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 does everything well all around. Um, he could pull. He could run block. He could pass block. He he could go to the second level. He could do whatever you want. He could do whatever you need. He could handle the stunts. He could do whatever. Like I said, don't underestimate Mark Lewinsky. Don't just think oh he be, oh because he's a weak link that he's bad. He's not. Mark Lewinsky is not the weak link. There is no weak link on this offense. This whole, I mean, offensive line, this whole offensive line is complete. One of the best offensive lines in the NFL. And Eric Fisher coming in, whoever's going to play for Eric Fisher, who is it going to be? Sam Tevy, Davenport, we don't know. But once Sam, once Eric Fisher comes in, and if he's anything, anything of what he was in that Super Bowl year and prior to the injury, he's going to be amazing. He's going to make... He's obviously going to make a huge addition to this Colts offensive line. Now he doesn't even have to return that for him. He can just be easy, just hold his own. That's all we're asking. It doesn't have to be any crazy. Just hold his own, <laughs> which is kind of a lot to ask at the same time. But you know, then you have Big Q, of course. Um, three years, three time All Pro, three Pro Bowls. Not much to say about him. We all know Ryan Kelly is also underrated. Ryan Kelly needs to, you know, be talked about more as, as some of the top centers in the league. Amazing run blocker, amazing pass blocker. Um, yeah, um, then you go to then you go to Glow, talk about Glow, go to right tackle, go to Braden Smith, one of the most underrated right tackles in the game. Um, you know, at first he did struggle, but, you know, he did move from guard to tackle, and it's always difficult learning a new position. Nonetheless, changing positions that you've never played before in the NFL, and, and he ran with it, and he never looked back, just like Glow did when the Colts signed him off of waivers. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for tuning in to the JDW Sports Talk Show, where every fan is welcome. And if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I will talk to you guys next time.